New at 10, scientists want to know what is going on in the waters off the Florida Keys. That's because fish there are behaving strangely and even dying. The night team's Heather Walker has tonight's Seven Investigates. The videos are all over social media. Fish swimming in circles. I had no idea what it was. I mean, I saw the fish spinning and I was like, what is it? And, you know, at the, at the time, I thought it was hilarious. But diver Greg Furstenworth soon realized the fish was in trouble and other fish were also struggling. That was like, what do you do? It's alarming and sad and depressing. It's beyond anything I've ever seen in my life. And I've been in the water a lot. Greg has been diving in the Keys since 2021. For the past year, he's seen all types of fish spinning and twirling. I see this every day. Every single day I can go out and see the fish struggling and spinning and dying. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission says 27 species are now affected, primarily in the lower keys from Big Pine to Key West, including the critically endangered small tooth sawfish. Many have grounded themselves. As of last week, 20 have died. It's heartbreaking sitting there watching a Goliath grouper for two and a half hours die. I'll tell you, it's not something that anybody wants to see. And no one knows why it's happening. FWC is working with Florida Gulf Coast University and others to find answers. The typical causes would be something like red tide or low oxygen in the water. That's not the case here. Mike Parsons is a marine scientist at Florida Gulf Coast. He's been studying in the Keys for 15 years. This is the first time he's ever seen something like this. One interesting thing about this is so many different fishes are being affected. So that led to our hypothesis that maybe it's something in the water, maybe dissolved in the water itself. When fish start spinning, it usually means there's some neurological impact to the fish. Right now, the professor says their best lead on a possible cause is a microscopic algae called Gambier discus. It's a naturally occurring toxin, which is normally harmless, but recent tests show extremely high levels in the water. It does remain a mystery, but we are making some progress. Greg says they need to move quickly before things get worse. Nobody knows what this is. Nobody knows how to stop it. Greg and scientists hope whatever the problem is, they can find a solution to save the fish. Heather Walker, 7 News.